I wouldn't be here if you didn't commit to you. I want you to understand that I get that. The secret to life is giving. Giving everything. When people tell me bad things happen, we turn them into good, right? Everything is happening for us. The importance of this, the significance of this, for me is that I have never done anything this big before. And I have a team with me who I've hired to help me put this together who have never done this before either. And then we have also gathered over 20 volunteers who are there specifically because they love what we talk about, what I talk about with strengths. They love it so much they wanted to give their time freely just to be a part of it to help. In um, April of 2011, okay, this is exactly about 10 years earlier. What happened was I was uh, managing a large apartment community in Irvine, California. I got fired. We moved here to Utah and got hired here. And it was here in less than 30 days I was fired again. I'm going to be real honest. I was terrible at my job. I was living in trauma from getting fired the first time. This is the first time I've been back since that day. It's weird, I'm feeling, I'm feeling triggered. And I've been about, gosh, 10 years since I've been here, 10 years. 10 years ago, I was fired. Obviously and when I was fired the second time, in that moment, I know now that I mentally, right, and spiritually, chose to believe that I was no longer valuable, that I was disposable, that I had no value as a man, as a husband, or as a father. And I, and I was carrying my things, my box of things, from my job, or my former job, to my house. And the reason I was carrying my things was because we only had one car then, and I didn't have the guts to call my wife to tell her to come pick me up, because I'd been fired again. After I was here, that I decided I was just going to walk home and just tell her. So I walked three and a half miles until I got home. Told Angela I'd been fired. How was I going to tell my wife that I'd been fired again? How am I going to convince her not to leave me? How am I going to believe in myself again? Because the worst thing about it was not that I couldn't find another job. See, the worst thing about it was that I could. I could find another job, but what if this just keeps happening over and over again and I just get beaten down more and more? I couldn't handle that. To say that I went on a mission to prove that I was no longer valuable is an understatement. I chose to hate who I am. This is what would ultimately lead to me wanting to do something to finally love who I was, which is when strengths came in and saved me. Why use this? When people tell me bad things happen, we turn them into good, right? Everything is happening for us. That's the life I've chosen. That's the life I wanna choose for you. That's the life I wanna choose for everybody. That's the life I wanna give to everyone. That's why I can't stop. That's why I have to do these videos every day, to help people believe that they can. This event is proof proof beyond a shadow of a doubt that not only is it possible for a human being to stop hating themselves, but it's also possible for a human being to go from hating themselves to creating a miracle and bringing value to every single person that that person comes, that that person comes in contact with. To prove that there is no depths of hell that we can't come back from. That's the mission I'm all about. This event is proof. So we're taking, uh, so we're about to do a group photo here with all the 
uh, people who have volunteered to help out. Like, this is insane. Like, these people just wanted to help. Oh, hey! How are you, Sandra? Oh my gosh! <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> How are you? I'm just seeing you. How are you? I'm happy to see you. <laughs> you gotta bend down. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, and I, I tell these people all the time, when I first heard about strengths, I rolled my eyes as far back into my head as I possibly could because I hated the feeling of uh, being measured and grouped. I hated that. It, it, just, it just hit me like in my core. What I didn't love about these things was that grouping concept. So when I took the assessment, I said, okay, I'm going to take it, but I'm going to put this test to the test. And I'm gonna answer these questions as honestly as I can. And that way, when these results come, I'm not gonna be surprised and I'll move past this nonsense. So I took the assessment, saw my strengths, and immediately, like most people, blew it off until we went to the event. And at the event, I watched the people from Gallup talk about how strengths works, on how when we're focusing on our talents and strengths, where we are best with everything, we get more done efficiently and with more joy and happiness and engagement. And then the big thing happened. And I learned, this is how my strengths work. One of the guys from Gallup went into the audience and this is what made me have to do this. He went into the audience and he saw people with their name tags and on their name tags had their strengths. And he was going up to total strangers and going, okay, this is who you are, this is who you are. And then watching the person go, oh my gosh, that is me. And he's doing that with total strangers in seconds. And my mind went, I have to do that. And I have to be better at what he's doing than what he's, than how he's doing. I'm going to be better in that. See, I learned later that one of my strengths is competition to be energized by comparing myself to other people and wanting to do it better than them. And in that moment, in my strengths, I made the decision that I was going to learn everything about them. And I went on this journey. I started coaching thousands of people for free just to understand, and I mean it, thousands, over a year's time, just to understand strengths. And why I had to start Unleash Your Strengths is because I was learning things about strengths that Gallup themselves weren't talking about, but I was seeing it with my own eyes, a difference it was making in the lives of other people. And the fact that I was seeing it make a difference and in things with Gallup wasn't talking about, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong, it's just, I was seeing it and they weren't talking about it. Another one of my strengths showed up, which is communication. Not only did I have to, you know, help people understand it, but I had to talk about it loudly. I had to get big, so much so that it became an obsession. And I remember my wife starting to struggle to see me work so hard at understanding something when we when I didn't have to. Our network marketing business was generating enough money. I didn't have to spend all my free time doing this. The reasons why we do network marketing is to create free time and I was using it all. The reason I was understand, trying to understand everything about strengths was because I was trying to understand everything about me. I spent my whole life trying to be something I'm not for every single person I came in contact with. Another one of my strengths is woo which is to win others over. And I, and I use this as fuel to keep going. I was making a difference in, in everybody's lives around me without trying to consciously make them happy. That helped me understand my purpose. My purpose was to help people see what's wonderful about them and push them and demand that they be that at a high level because I know what it's like to live a life where all I'm trying to do is make everyone happy and not be who I am. Hi. Hello, Lana. How are you? Good. How are you? You just look like someone who wants a hug. I do. <laughs> and thanks for everything you teach because you it's click so much better in my head yeah. than oh. Gallup does. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, 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 I get that. I get that. I totally get that. Wait, and, I, and I still to this day believe that my decision to become more and more curious about my kids right? To be curious about who they are rather than be uh, demanding that they be a certain thing. Uh, the more curious I became, the more my kids started to realize that their dad cared about them as individuals and what made them unique. And so for my kids, 
it was a really easy transition as, as soon as I made the decision to always be curious about them. And they didn't know this, and I don't even think they cared. But the reason why I was curious about them is because I wanted to know what their strengths were without them having to take the assessment. I was trying to figure out how good, how good I was, could be at this. The person that had the longest, took the longest to come around to this whole thing was my wife. Um, Angela is a very high belief person, which means that she does everything in alignment with her core values. And if there's something that I am doing visually is violating those core values, it doesn't matter how genius or brilliant or how wonderful or even how excited her husband is about them. If they're violating the core values, it's a problem, which is why it took the longest uh, to come around with her. Uh, with her, she saw all this analytical and intellectual and strategic thinking study um, to be very unproductive. And because I was so fascinated with it, and she would just get the deer in headlights look anytime I would talk, at first it caused an even bigger disconnect between the two of us. Yeah, without a doubt, like trying to help my wife understand my passion for this and how it was gonna help her do the things that she believed in took a very long time. Hey. <laughs> so proud of you. <laughs> that was amazing. Mm. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Don't cry right now. They did an incredible job. It looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't gotten your confirmation code. <laughs> oh, yeah. How you doing, Bucky? I'm doing good. Is it cool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so hey, Jackie. Cool. <laughs> you want to get their helper first? Okay. I, figured I'll, I I'll do. Ask, I'll ask Ashley, not you. Or somebody in there. Um, sp yeah, Springer or Ashley, one of them. We'll help you. Thank you, Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. Are you so pumped? I'm very, very pumped. What time do you go out there? Uh, in 10 minutes. Yay. Okay, it's time. Okay, I got, I got my family with me, my friends, and this, is, this event's going to be incredible. I could go over, out on that stage and go, blah, 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 and this is, the event will still be amazing. It is that good. The Unleash Your Strengths team is excited to welcome you to Strengths of Guidance Live. On your feet, everyone. It's time to stand in gratitude and applause for the man who started it all. The man who sat in your seat, unsure if he would ever be good enough. Today, he's standing for you with a mission to teach the world how to do one thing. Friends, it's time. It's time to unleash your strengths. Put your hands together and welcome to the stage. So, I'm here proudly to announce to you all, I am enough. That applause, that wonderful, warm welcome. I deserve that. And I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't deserve it if you didn't just have the commitment to own and love the fact that you are enough. And you deserve this. You, each and every one of you deserve this. I wouldn't be here if you didn't commit to you. I want you to understand that I get that, okay? When you say to yourself, I'm going to be me with everything I do, right? You inspire other people to do the same. And this right here, my friends, is proof right here that you can go from even hating who you are, like I did for so long, to actually doing something of value that would make a difference for other people. All right. So what I want you to do is just kind of think about that. What does that mean for you? 
right? To go from where you are right now to just being who you are to attract all the right people to your life, business, everything by just being you. That's it, right? Uh, all right. Well, first off, I wanted to just start off here real, real quick with the big picture. Why are we here? I, I'm here to help you create two results. Okay. That's what, that's what the primary function of this is. Two results. Okay. Number one, to grow your business. The second thing that we're here for is to do it by being you to prove all you have to do is be you. Okay. That's the second thing we're here to prove that. So why strengths? Why is strengths important? Um, well, let me just kind of explain what strengths is. Strengths is how we, you, I, all of us are infinitely unique. Let me explain what infinitely unique means. It doesn't mean that I'm different than people in my, it doesn't mean that I'm different than people in my neighborhood. It doesn't mean that I'm different than people in my family. <laughs> which I am. It doesn't mean that I'm different than people in my city, my state, my country, or my culture, or even my planet. I am different than anybody that's ever been or ever will be. And you know what's wonderful? So are you. Now we all have some similarities, but still different. And when the, the thing for me that excites me about strengths when it comes to this concept is that means that if each and every one of us is infinitely unique, then there's no point to compare. There's no point to look at someone else and go, oh my gosh, I can't have what they have because I can't do what they do or be who they are. Well, duh, that's the point. You are not supposed to be them, but that's where we go that limits us from the greatness that we are infinitely and infinitely uniquely designed to bring. That's why strengths, because with our infinitely unique combination of strengths and partnered up with our infinitely unique combination of experiences means that I, you, all of us has something infinitely unique to do, to teach, to share, to provide, to create, that if you don't, and I don't, and we don't honor that and own that, then no one in the history or the future will ever get to experience it. That is the responsibility that I hold, that you hold, that we all hold, is to be who we are at such a high level that the world gets to experience the only thing that only you and I can bring. So who here has only the top five? Raise your hand. Couple, okay, cool, all right. So I wanna know who I'm speaking to. So everybody, just about everybody here has got the full 34. If I asked you what is your dominant domain, do, and raise your hand if you do not know what that is, raise your hand. Cool, man, I'm doing really good. I have taught people well. Awesome, that's it, huge. I've been doing, I've done. All right, so the speakers for this event, I, I, I'm really excited about because these are not just the most amazing people on the planet to me. I honestly believe that these people are just proof of that what I experienced in my own life when it comes to applying my strengths and seeing my value is not just a fluke. It's a thing that can be duplicated over and over and over again. And it's not just for people who are unhappy with who they are. It can be for people who are already experiencing greatness. And so all the speakers at this event are all representing people on different levels of that greatness. Some of them have never done anything entrepreneurial in their lives. Some of them have been entrepreneurs for quite a while. And ultimately what I love about this group is how strengths can apply to anyone, anywhere, anytime and bring value to any, uh, in any way. It took a, a little bit of time uh, in this, in this, for me to be convinced to win me over completely. I still was skeptical, but there were a few moments in my strengths journey in that first 100 where my heart sort of softened a little bit and welcomed the idea of strengths into my life. And it was a moment when I uh, created the Strengths Proclamation, my Strengths Proclamation. I have six relationship building strengths and three influencing. 
So I love to connect with the right people and move them forward. And in my job as a teacher, I wasn't doing that. I was in my head too much. I was listening to those around me who were saying, this is how you have to be to be a successful teacher. You're too involved and invested in their lives. Just teach and do this. Da, 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 da. And so I had become something that I never was meant to be. Someone who was pretending to be a teacher, playing the role of a teacher, but it wasn't who I was. And it was this moment when I, I jumped into this course to better my doTERRA business, but it impacted every other part of my life. And so it was at some leadership that he spoke, and I don't know if it was recorded and I put it on. I don't, I don't know any of those pieces, but I was so alive inside listening to that about strengths. And I had been introduced to strengths. I had been introduced to Gallup twice, five to 10 years sooner. And I knew my top five. Okay. I know my top five. Is that who I am? Yep. That's who I am. Okay. That's what I knew. So when I listened to Eddie talk about it, I said, I need to know more about this. So I dove in. I listened to every strength on Gallup's podcasts. I drew about them. I wrote about them. I wanted to learn about them. I wanted to learn about mine. I wanted to learn about everybody else's. I wanted to know more. And I jumped in early on. I, Eddie's been going for, I don't even know how long, but somewhere along the line, I jumped in and started listening to Eddie. And I said, um, there's something here that's different about strengths than therapy knows about strengths-based therapy. And at that point, I could afford Eddie. So I, <laughs> you know what I mean, it was early on and Eddie was willing to see me for a price I could afford. And so I booked a session with Eddie. I'm just gonna fill the crowd. I wanna know what they wanna hear. And I can promise you, stick to your strengths and you will be successful. You don't think you will, and you're going to talk yourself into a hole on why every reason exists that you don't have the achiever or you don't have the relationships. But that's the point, guys. If you love you, then you know how to love and get the people around you that have those strengths. I love this quote. A person filled with the love of God is not content with blessing his family alone, but ranges through the whole world anxious to bless the whole human race. I've heard that in Sunday school since I was a kid. And I'm like, well, I love my family, but all these other people. And then <laughs> Relator, the 24th strength. I'm like, oh my gosh, I dipped into Relator. <laughs> right? <clears throat> But in all of you, in the quiet heart is hidden sorrow that the eye can't see. You get your butt kicked, something happens, you feel like you've arrived at some level, and, and then you just get your trash kicked, and your heart breaks, and you got to pick up the pieces. And I discovered that I could turn on the Bee Gees about mending a broken heart <laughs> and put the pieces back together, but I could replace the pieces with all these other people. And then finally, my favorite, my wife. Angela Villa, by far the most inspiring person I've ever met in my whole life. Talking about how strengths not just helped her, but helped us in our marriage, and then talking about how to use strengths on social media, where she is an ace. I do everything in a way that honors my desire to move people forward. I always thought that I was pushy and demanding and a diva and so many horrible things. But it's who I am. It's who I am. It's actually kind of amazing. 
it's kind of amazing because I've grown a team of more than 250,000 people. I don't think I could have done that pretending that I wasn't pushy or obnoxious or dramatic or diva. I couldn't have done that. So I've learned I'm happiest. I don't have achy body or, or weird injuries and I don't have depression and I don't have days that I wanna stay in bed and cover my head when I'm honoring my desire to move people forward. And I'm honoring my desire to move myself forward. I actually was talking to my husband the other day about quitting doTERRA. I was, wasn't I? Because I wasn't honoring my desire to move myself forward. It's all I've ever wanted to do in my whole life. And people tell you you're a ball buster or you're wrong. It's just who I am. And I just picked myself up and I realized you always have to move forward, Angela. If you don't, you'll be depressed. You're not honoring this gift that God gave you. Because when I move forward, people want to come along. When I'm stuck and I'm hiding, Nobody's inspired by me. In fact, my team calls me out on my calls like, you were weird today. <laughs> and it's because I wasn't honoring me. I wasn't, I wasn't honoring my love letter to myself. It's exhausting to constantly want to move forward. It's exhausting to constantly want to get things done. But I'll tell you what's worse is doing nothing. It wasn't meant to be emotional, but I'll tell you how healing knowing yourself is. And showing up like that is healing to not only you, but to everybody around you. It allows them to sit with you and heal. Does everyone, can everybody get behind this? Yes? Imagine a community or a business that appreciates the differences of the people you're trying to bring in, saying, hey, we want you because you're different, and we've got a community where we all get to do things together. You don't have to be uh, an Angela Via or a Lori Hayes or a Steve, or you don't have to be me, you don't have to be anybody, just be you and come in because you've got strengths that we can count on because nobody on this planet has what you have. My friends, if I have taught you anything tonight, it is this, the secret to life is giving. Giving? everything. Your strengths are not to be kept to you. They are meant to be shared. Give them. Give them up. Give them to others. Give them without judgment, without requirement, without expecting anything in return. You give and you give and you give until you can't stop smiling. The things that were up here, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little angry. They're gone. I wanted some of those things. <laughs> but what I got instead was the joy of watching you take them home. My strengths are all over this place. They're yours. They're yours. Take them. Hi, my name is Karen Hackley. I'm from Culpeper, Virginia. I have had the most wonderful time with this live event. It's my very first one. I wasn't sure what to expect. It has exceeded my expectations. I learned things about myself, such as that I'm a strategic person. That's invaluable to me because in trying to figure out how to work my business, it's gonna give me really good, a good guideline for what I'm supposed to do. So right from the very beginning in the morning all the way to the end, we've talked so much about what I can do to build my business and to become successful in doTERRA. And I'm so excited. I'm so psyched now to get going. But I'm super excited that I came today. I knew that when I walked in here that I was going to discover more about myself. And the takeaway that I'm leaving with today is one that I never imagined. And it was when Angela Villa got up and spoke and she talked about those people who are afraid to get behind social media, it's because they don't know who they are. And when we get behind social media, 
our lives about who we are, right, are amplified. And that really hit home. I love what Strengths is doing for me as far as helping me to discover who I truly am so that I can go out and make a difference in the world and help more people discover who they are. So thank you so much to Eddie and all of his team. Hi, I'm Tom Baker from uh, the state of Maine. I'm here at this event with uh, Steve and Eddie and they were fantastic. Um, I've been to a lot of conferences and they were just great as far as they relaxed everybody, they had jokes, but they also got their point across and everybody listened, everybody laughed, and it, it was just so relaxing. You don't find these events like this, and I want to give them congratulations on uh, keeping me informed on everything going on. Hi, my name is Stephanie Baker. I am Tom's wife. This is my second event with, uh, with uh, Eddie Vila, and from beginning to end, uh, what I had hoped to get out of it was to just learn who I am. And because I learned that uh, in, in order to truly be authentic, which is what I want to be, I have to really learn and know and appreciate my strengths. And I had always ran from them before, kind of treated it like a, um, a foreign language that I really didn't want to learn because I really didn't want to know about myself. But now I know how I truly um, can uh, authenticate myself and learn to love myself by uh, appreciating those strengths. And I got so much out of this conference. It was awesome. Thank you so much, Eddie, and all of your team. I've invited my family who have passed away to come watch this. My brother, I, I've felt him here. My mom, my dad, my sister, Michelle. Um, also, my grandmother on my mom's side, my grandmother, my dad's side, my grandparents, their grandparents. I've invited seven generations of family that have passed on to come watch this. And my, I can feel them right now. It's crazy, I can feel them right now. I can feel my family right here. This is insane. And they're telling me they're proud. And they're excited. And I'm going to go over there and I'm going to bring that vibe and that energy of family to this group here.